In this video, you're going to be learning how to use Surfer AI from A through Z, and I'm going to teach you the entire process of how I rank content just like this and like this using Surfer AI. So let's go ahead and jump in. So if you look at my screen here, a cost per article will cost you about $19. When you hire a writer, that's usually going to be about $100 to $200 per article. And trust me, I've seen it because I've hired writers before, and you can actually generate the long form article within 15 minutes. When you use a writer, it usually takes about two to three business days. From here, you can really kind of skyrocket your content publishing if you use Surfer AI correctly. And I know that many people are not using it correctly and they're getting terrible outputs. So I hope that by the end of this video, you're gonna learn the exact process of how to rank content on Google and also how to convert your readers into buying whatever products or services that you're recommending. So let's go ahead and jump in and go through the entire process of writing an article, getting the keyword, updating the outline, and then editing that post afterwards. So right now we are inside of the content editor or the dashboard of Surfer. And from here, you can either usually buy AI credits individually or you can buy them in packages. So if you look at the billing, we can see that you can buy them at $19 per article or you can buy them in packages. So if you get 10, you get one free and X, Y, Z. Let's go ahead and jump into the good stuff. And inside of the content editor, in order to get started to use Surfer AI, you can go ahead and click on this tab here where it says write with AI. Then you're gonna go ahead and input the keyword that you want to generate content from. So usually you need to already know what keyword you're gonna include and you always have to match search intent. So once you understand search intent, it's going to be a lot easier to write content that ranks not just for the Google, but also for users. You're going to want to enter the keyword. So I'm going to use an example of how to make fluffy scrambled eggs. And this is going to be the example for what we're using. And usually what I like to do is I like to have it for United States as the results. And I also like to keep it at mobile, not desktop, uh, because usually all my traffic comes from mobile. So you want to just double check in your analytics platform and see where your visitors are coming from. So you can optimize for that specific search term. Next up, you're going to go ahead and create for one AI credit. So this usually takes about less than a minute. So let's go ahead and just wait it out. And as we're waiting, I do want to say one thing. You want to make sure that as you leverage AI tools like Surfer, you do not want to become complacent or you don't want to get lazy. What I mean by this is that as it's generating the content, you need to edit, you need to fact check everything, and you really need to add in custom knowledge, which I'm going to show you right now. But just before I go into this and dive deep, please don't get complacent, make sure that you're always focusing on creating the most high value content that you possibly can. So it looks like it's done. Let's go ahead and customize our article outline. Okay, so this is the first step. So this is going to be based on the article type. So this is why it's important to know what the search intent of an article is. So as you know, we're doing a how to make fluffy scrambled eggs, which is an informational post. So it's going to stick to blog post. We're not going to do product roundup or we're not going to do single product review. From here, you can also pick the tone of voice, but I usually recommend for this use case, use the auto cert based feature. So click on that. And then from here, I like to do the advanced settings because you can add in custom knowledge. You can also uh, remove any anti-detection. So I usually leave that unchecked. And then organic competitors, sometimes Surfer SEO uh, is usually spot on with their competitors, but you just want to uh, get some clarity and double check that you're not missing any competitors or have any irrelevant data in here. So some of them look pretty good to me. Uh, some of the words are 600, 500. So as of right now, this looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep it as it is. And from here, I'm also going to add in some custom knowledge. This is where you can include URLs. So let's say you have another article on you making scrambled eggs or, you know, there's other articles that you want to reference to. Or let's say you have like a transcript or some text information that you want to include in here. You could do this right here. This works on the whole page level or the article generation. You can also do custom knowledge on separate individual sections of your out. So here I'm going to say I have experience making the fluffiest eggs known to man. I even won a competition that gave me an award for the best fluffiest scrambled eggs. 
So of course, obviously I don't have that award, but I'm just using this for this use case. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and create the outline. So don't forget that this usually takes about 15 minutes in total to generate the outline and also to generate the content. But when it comes to including any custom knowledge and any more relevant context to your article outline, um, usually you wanna probably spend about, I would say another 10 minutes or so doing that. So the whole article generation process will probably take you about 30 to maybe, maybe 40 minutes. All right, cool. So it was about, I would say about four minutes, three minutes, and we got the outline generated. So here you can have a few little options so you can highlight specific terms that you uh, is considered semantically related to the topic. And we can also edit the bullet points. So I obviously recommend that we edit the bullet points specifically because you want to add in custom knowledge and you want to try to add in as much personal information as possible. You don't want to just generate the post and think that you're good to go. That's not how it's going to work, especially when using AI tools. All right. So from here, you're going to want to go ahead and just review quickly the outlines. Do they make sense to you? Do you like them? Um, maybe you can do something better than your competitors are doing. There could be things that you just don't want to include in this post. So just double check all the uh, information here and add in some extra context. So I think the H1 title is pretty good. I think it's spot on. Um, from here, we have the H2, the secret to award-winning fluffy scrambled eggs. I think that this is important to include because you want to try to answer the user question or the intent first thing in the article because we want them to be satisfied with this article if they were ever to click on it. I want obviously want to give them the information up front and let them know exactly what makes an award-winning fluffy scrambled eggs especially for me as someone who won the awards and for fluffy spank uh, eggs so here i could say i can just quickly review this here um, it also gives us some resources or references to where it's gathering the information from so don't forget that surfer ai pulls about 300,000 words of context from the web so the user has experience making the fluffiest eggs known to man and has won a competition for the fluffy scrambled eggs. And it's pulling that data from another place from a recipe. But I'm going to go ahead and change this here to make it talk in second person. So I'm going to say I have experience making the fluffiest eggs known to man and have won a competition for the fluffy scrambled eggs, which turn egg haters into lovers. Ideal scrambled eggs as produced by the user are defined by the fluffiest, moist, tender, custardy, bright yellow rich. Perfect. The user's secret intent. So I'm going to put this as to my secret method includes making scrambled eggs without milk or cream. No, nope. actually, I recommend that we use milk or cream. That is usually my secret method when I'm making eggs. So I'm going to say my secret method includes making scrambled eggs with milk or cream. I'm going to add another point here saying you also need to make sure that your flipping process of the eggs is on point when it comes to putting it on the pan. So then we have this one here, choosing the right eggs for the ultimate fluffiness. So personally, I think this could be uh, improved. And also one thing that I'm doing too, as I move forward with this is I use Grammarly to kind of edit some of the bullet point context here, uh, but just make sure that everything looks good here. So also here where it says the ideal pan for perfect scrambled eggs, I personally do not like that. So I am going to change it a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and change it to you need to use a specific type of pan. And of course, I want to make sure that it's a nonstick pan. So if you know your niche, you can just double check that and reference back. So all of this is fine. Temper temperature mastery. I think this is a little kind of <laughs> cringy. So I'm going to change that as well to having the right temperature. Okay, and let's move on when and how to incorporate dairy. So I'm going to say instead of that, I'm going to say now start to include milk, you can use Grammarly to fix anything here. There's a few things I don't like. So I don't even talk about creme fridge and let's take that off. Definitely not sour cream. That's weird. So you're going to see some things that don't make sense. Definitely cream cheese doesn't make sense either. Cool. I'm going to change this to time to stir correctly, then change this how to make your fluffy eggs taste even better. So you can see how like there's a few things that I need to change and I don't recommend adding or including in here. Um, serving suggestions, so this is fine. Expert tips, so this is all okay and I like it. So one thing you can do is you can also just go to uh, Google search and type in how to make the fluffy scrambled eggs 
And you want to check to see if there's anything that your competitors are including that maybe you want to include or make better. Uh, it has to match the intent. So obviously this one's not going to work. It needs to say how to make fluffy scrambled eggs. Um, so just make sure that we look through here. And I want to double check using a tool called Detailed SEO and look at their heading structure. I don't want to look at the content. I just want to see their heading structure. Okay, how to avoid over okay, that's that. And that's not really going to help me. Let's see if there's anything else I might be missing. Okay, so milk, cream, other liquids, heat and agitation. Okay, so cool. This actually gave me a good idea. I probably should add a tools list or like what tools are needed to make this. So from here, I actually do like that. I'm probably going to include that. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'm going to add that at the very beginning. Add a heading. What tools are needed for making fluffy scrambled eggs? Cool. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm, I can actually say here milk, nonstick pan, eggs, of course. Actually, even farm fresh eggs would be nice. Farm fresh eggs, wisp. So we can do that for now. And I'm going to go ahead and write. So from here, you guys notice that I quickly just reviewed the heading structure. I changed some of the context in the bullet points. And now it's time to hit the let's write button and have the article get generated. So this usually takes about, I would say like another three to five minutes. So I'll, we'll go ahead and uh, double check how it looks once it's generated. All right, let's go. So it looks like it went ahead and finished the whole article. I think that took about another five or seven minutes. So yeah, in total it was about 25 minutes to generate this post. Um, so from here, we have a content score of 89. So the average competitor is usually around 63 to 73 of in the content score range. Then we have an entire article posted with semantic keywords included and things that we could include for our entire article. And not just that, but we can still click on the auto optimize feature to get this score even higher. And from here, we have a really short paragraph intro and I can, and it says searching for the secret to how to make fluffy scrambled eggs. Look no further key tactics from choosing the right eggs to mastering. So yeah, this is, this paragraph could do some more work and more editing. We have an entire key takeaway section, and then we have, even have AI image generation included in here. And we have all of the headings that we included. So this is really good. It's including bullet points. It's including good questions. It has a nice flow to it. Um, here's another AI image generator. And we also have our what tools are needed for making fluffy scrambled eggs. So perfect. It has the milk, nonstick pan, farm fresh eggs, and a whisk. So you guys saw that I included that prior in the beginning. So I think this is pretty good for what kind of a just coming from an AI tool. So it's telling us choosing the right eggs. So obviously that was the farm fresh eggs, uh, the whisking technique. It is an AI image generator right here, the type of pan, the right temperature, when to start including milk, time to stir correctly, how to make fluffy eggs taste even better. So this is a really cool little image generation. That's telling us what to include, like provolone cheese, cheddar cheese, add that to the scrambled eggs, black pepper. So all of this is pretty good. And it even includes an FAQ section that is based on what's working on the SERPs today. So it has an FAQ section. Overall, this is a really, really good post and it just needs some slight editing. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the auto optimize feature, which is going to go ahead and include even more relevant data. It's going to go ahead and try to get our score even higher. And yes, this might be over optimizing, but I'm just trying to show you what you can possibly do with Surfer AI and how fast it works without needing to hire a writer or maybe you have a writer and then get them to use the tool and use their experience to edit the content. So let's go ahead and click on auto optimize. So what it's doing is it's going to see if it's going to change any of the headings. It's going to see if it can change the paragraphs or include more relevant information based on the semantics. It's also just going to go ahead and let us know what it changed. Um, so again, it's adding NLP entities, it's adding in related data, and it's going to change some of the headings if it needs to. Um, but overall, this should be really quick. Okay, so it looks like we are at 94 from originally we were at 81. It optimized a few paragraphs and one H2. So 89 to 94, three sections were optimized and 10 NOP entities were included. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and close here. And then what the last step you want to do is you want to leverage Surfy. So Surfy is their AI assistant tool that will, it kind of 
works or is wrapped with chat GPT or GPT material tech. And this will go ahead and help you optimize, edit your content. If you want to make it sound more human or make it break up the text line breaks and all of that, that's what you can do with Surfy. So let's go ahead and just highlight this entire paragraph because I personally do not like it. And then you're going to go ahead and click on ask Surfy. And here you can either rephrase or expand on the paragraph, but I'm going to just say, I need you to improve this article introduction by making it flow nicely and use the pass framework. So the pass framework is a copywriting framework that is uh, relatively used in the industry. I'm also going to say, make sure you use line breaks and eighth grade reading level text. So let's go ahead and click enter and this is going to improve our intro. All right. So it looks like it's doing a lot better now. It says, are, are your scrambled eggs always turning out less than stellar? Let's face it. Achieving the perfect fluffiness in scrambled eggs can sometimes feel like an elusive culinary quest. You're not alone. If you've experienced this disappointment of flat, lifeless eggs, then you went in the detection where you're aiming for. It's frustrating to know when you follow recipe to the letter and it still ends up more blah than ta-da. But worry not, with some insider knowledge and a few simple adjustments, you can make better scrambled eggs. So I like this. I'm going to go ahead and click on accept. Of course, you want to remove the formula. And overall, you can continue editing and improving the content on your own. But I think this is really good. So you want to keep doing this through the entire article. So maybe even the key takeaway section, I can change this to change the heading to summary. Then I'm also going to say make the bullet points a lot shorter so you can go ahead and continue doing this perfect so change the summary to uh, the key takeaways to a summary and then also made the bullet points a lot shorter so i'm going to go ahead and click on accept and again just keep doing this throughout any section that you think needs improvement um, and i highly recommend that's going to help you so from here i can also change this to saying add line breaks add some bullet points and add some humor so keep doing this over and over again. You're going to get better and better, but Surfree is really powerful. Great. So go ahead and click on accept. So overall, I think this is good. We can keep on moving forward and just keep doing this. Um, once you're done, you have a really, really good article. And then from here, you can use your own process. Like maybe you're using another uh, AI tool to humanize your content. You can do that too. Um, if you're using like a tool like Grammarly, you can try to edit things from Grammarly or Pro Writing Aid, and you basically have an article that is ready to be published. So if, if you're on WordPress, you can actually export this whole article and create a new draft in your WordPress settings. Or if you're using like a tool like Webflow or publishing on another blogging platform, you would just go ahead and either download the entire uh, uh, content as HTML or Markdown, or you can just go ahead and copy and paste. And I'll go ahead and leave a this example in a Google Doc file so you guys can actually view it for yourself and see how that looks. But beyond that, this is a great way to use Surfer and use their Surfy AI tool feature and go ahead and create content that can potentially rank as long as you edit correctly and as long as you always improve your content overall. Okay, so that sums up the entire Surfer AI tutorial and review. If you have any questions or concerns, please drop those in the comments section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Also, if you have any questions about using the tool or how you can get better outputs, then you can watch this video next on prompt engineering and this will help you when you're using Surfy after you generated the post. So go ahead and watch that video next. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next video.